that, don't you? A flying aeroplane, they normally fly. <laughs> flying aeroplane boat. OK. What is it, babe, an Indian? WLA Harley. Oh, it's a Harley, is it? 942. Put that down. No. Put that down. No. Put it back. No. You're not allowed to have it. No. Can't put it down. No. Can't put it back. No. I'm Can't the captain. Put it back. You're not no captain. <laughs> I'm the captain. <laughs> Look, I've Get. got stripes. <laughs> Put the thing back over there now. I've got, it won't let me look. I'm a fat captain. <laughs> look, I'm making patterns. Look, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You can sit down and watch DVDs about it and everything. The telephone exchange room in this room is of the same type that was originally used on the base. And all these here, they would moor the aircraft with out on the lake. They dropped them in the lake. Like heaven here in Yarrawonga and a babe. If you just, all you got to do is get rid of me. Go. Fuck. I've got to carry this. <laughs> just don't drop it, babe. <laughs> Kimmy's struggling there, isn't she? The emu game has got a bit controversial this trip, hasn't it, babe? I seen an emu today. Now, it was metal sculptures of an emu. It was. You would not think it was a fucking camel or a kangaroo. It was an emu. <laughs> No. And she wonders why I fucking married to her. Well, look, when you got to get lawyered up, there's something problem. There, there's a problem somewhere in there, eh? Right? So we're not going to drink tonight. Yeah, we're not drinking tonight. Well, no, no, we'll rephrase that. Yeah, the bride of Chucky, but the bride of Chucky could be in for something special on Friday, couldn't she, babe? Possibly. With Geelong Harley Davidson. Thinking she's locking Rusty <laughs> in and Rusty's got nothing. How silly is that? I'm not heading for the stars Driving down the boulevard at night Playing cool, play on repeat Watching people on the street as I go by And it doesn't even matter to me where I go I just feel I need to take a ride Got my coffee cup to go And I'm gonna hit the road tonight Now my wheel's in motion and my It had come to that time when we were leaving Swan Hill in Victoria. What a great couple of days we've had here with lots of adventures and met some great people there at the motel. Now it was time to travel down the road, about 19 k's down the Lake Bogger. There they have a museum, the Flying Catalinas. Now these planes operated during World War II and are part of Australia's history. Hope you enjoy guys. Okay, so we're here at Lake, Lake Boga, Boga, whatever you want to call it, Boga, Boga. I'd say Boga, because it's one letter away from being Bogan. Home of the Catalina, a flying aeroplane. I think a lot of people know about that, a don't they? A flying aeroplane, they normally fly. <laughs> flying aeroplane boat. Okay. Okay. You forgot that last bit. Well, I've got to explain everything to Kimmy normally anyway, don't I? <laughs> hey? Okay, so this is it here. A flying boat. We haven't got a cafe there, but I don't think it's open. It's not. That's a flying boat there. And this is the entrance to the museum. When the Imperial Japanese attacked Darwin and Broome in 1942, resulting in the loss of 16 flying boats, the establishment of a safe landing point for flying boats was required inland as a remote facility outside the distance of Japanese airplanes. Lake Bogger was picked as it allowed almost unlimited choice of landing takeoff directions and was free from obstructions. It was also close to nearby infrastructure. Required for Australian, Royal Netherlands, East Indies Air Force and United States flying boat servicing and repairs, Lake Bogger was commissioned in June 1942. Number one flying boat repair and service depot was set up to provide the repair and service requirements. The Catalina Flying Boat Museum in Lake Bogger is a Lions Club of Lake Bogger Incorporated project and is a memorial to those who worked on with the flying boats during World War II. Here we are. 
is the flying Catalina. That is her right there. It's massive. We will give you some information about that. Yes, it does definitely look like a boat at the front. Yeah. Kimmy might learn something if you listen to that video. I was shocked. <laughs> Enjoy our exhibition. On a brilliant summer's day in January 19... Oh, Willie's Jeep. What is it, babe? An Indian? WLA Harley. Oh, it's a Harley, is it? 1942. It's a war one. Yeah. I like the little medical kit up the front. Pretty good, eh? Hmm. We've got a gun on the front, too. Do you need that? Yeah. <laughs> it's got the same tip on the front of it as yours, babe. Oh, it's painted white. That's two. Cool, look there. She's a ripper, isn't she? I'm the captain. You're the what? Put that down. No. Put that down. No. Put it back. No. You're not allowed to have it. No. Can't put it down. No. Can't put it back. No. I'm <laughs> Don't the captain. Put it back. You're not no captain. <laughs> Jesus. You can't trust kids. <laughs> Can you? I'm the captain. <laughs> he wishes. The old guns here. The old flare one there, an old gun there. I'm the captain. <laughs> Look, I've Get. got stripes. <laughs> Put the thing back over there now. I've got, it won't let me look. I'm a fat captain. <laughs> you said that, not me. I'm a you fat said captain. It, not me. I just wish she'd play dress up at, dress up at home. <laughs> she doesn't though, does she? <laughs> World War II German arm and piercing shells, those big ones. A couple of props. Mm. Kimmy, you looked about as skinny as this one. Yeah. You look the skinny as that one, Bug. Do I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. right, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's some artifacts here and information here, I can tell you guys. Flying boat bases. Oh, look at that. US, so that's for the US Navy, Green Area, enemy ship and strike. Oh. See it all light up, guys. Mine, Hong Kong Harbour at 100 feet. Night bombing attack on Rabul. All from Lake Boga. Look at that. Unreal. Oh, look, I'm making patterns. Look, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. A jigsaw puzzle now. Join the dots. <laughs> Look. Join the dots. It's not if you read what it's about. What's it about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Night bombing attack on Rabul. So this was their fly path, see? Where's they Rabul? left from Lake, Bo Lake oh, Boga, right. Boga and went up there. That's very well done. Yeah, it is. It is a Boeing B-17G Flying Fortress. Oh, Rusty used to put models together when he was a kid of that particular plane. Heaps of information in here, guys. You can sit down and watch DVDs about it and everything. So did the Catalina do any good? Yes. Right. She did. This is Catalina's flight simulator. So this is like up in the cockpit, I guess. Cool. That's them in their air suits. Look 
the size of the motor in it. Or one of them. The Pratt and Whitney R1830-92 14-cylinder radial aero engine is on loan from Jason Murders. Gas masks and everything in there. Okay, so that was very interesting in there, wasn't it? My eyes have to adjust. What, to the light, because yeah. we're in the cinema. So this is the bunker they had here at Lake Boga. It was an underground a bunker, safe from enemy bombing radio room and that, and it's still here today. Mm. Oh, so this is it. Mm. This was built um, just in case they were bombed. Unreal, really, isn't it? History of Australia. That's what it is. Maps, everything. Secret operations. Yep. Old radios in there. Don't think you had a computer back then. Don't think you had a computer back then, babe. Not like that. <laughs> but nope. it's still fairly real. Now, this is more like they would have had. Look at that. This room represents the cipher section. It was here that all secret communications were dealt with. Incoming transmissions and other communications were decoded and forwarded to the appropriate destinations. Oh, the switchboard room. The telephone exchange within this room is of the same type that was originally used on the base. It is difficult to imagine exchanges such as this needing to be manned 24 hours a day, every day of the year. As there was a requirement for the exchange to operate 24 hours each day, a bed was available for personnel on duty to rest. So this is the original bunker, guys. The importance of maintaining communications was fully understood and appreciated by those in charge of the Lone Boga base. In order to ensure continuum operation, a secure source of electrical power had to be ensured. The engine and generator in this room represents that third stage to ensuring power supply. Uniquely Australian. We've still got a bunker, haven't we, both? Yes. But we have got a few in Australia still. But this was the original bay bunker at Lake Boga. So, anyway, that concludes our tour, doesn't it, babe? And if you look up there, see all that grassy area? The Clydesdales came down and put all the dirt across there, didn't yes, they? Yes, when they were covering it so to hide it from enemies. What do you think, guys? Pretty good, eh? You learn something with Kimmy Russ Adventures yeah. sometimes. So this is out the front. You've probably seen it on the way in. That's Lake Boga, Boga there. I had a few of these around the place, but these here, they built these, and all these here, they would moor the aircraft with out on the lake. They dropped them in the lake, and they were the um, they had two tons, and they were to moor the aircraft out there when they come in. Very interesting, babe, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. the wind has really picked up now. We'll get going. We're going to hop back on the bikes and probably head out towards the Nilikun Way first up, then on the Yarrawonga. And dodge these uh, widowmakers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now that was very interesting. Anyone that hasn't ever been there, that lake there is, well, I think they said three miles long by two miles wide. Yep, that's where they flew them and repaired them all the way down here in Victoria. Yeah. Absolutely marvellous. And that old building over there was part of the complex too or something, I think they said, babe. It looks like it might have been. Yeah, I think they said that, yeah. I'm not 100% sure. I remember hearing something on the film that we sat down and watched, which is very informative, guys. As you first yeah. walk in, you um, sit down and watch that film if you want and learn a bit of the history before you have a look around the museum. Anyway. So we'll keep going and um, make up some time now. It is already 10 past 11. Amazing how the time flew in there. Welcome to Kerrang, guys. Little Victorian town on the Loddon River. It's not a bad sized town, Narang. Uh, Kerrang, I should say. Big clock up the end of the town. Yeah, there is right in the middle of the main street, isn't it? Can you see that, Gert? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm just hoping yeah. you're good. Just don't ask me to take a photo of it. Yeah, okay, babe. Located on the Loddon River since the 1860s when river irrigation was introduced to the district, it has become an important agricultural centre for dairy, horticulture, vineyards, orchards, lucerne and grain. The town symbol is a flying ibis. The birds are attracted to the district because there are 50 lagoons and lakes. The result is that the town is a bird lover's paradise with most populous ibis rookery in the world. There is estimated to be 200,000 ibis used in the area for breeding purposes each year. Yes, we're about to cross back into the New South Wales, aren't we, babe? Yep. There's the Great Murray River again. It's a one-man bridge, this one. We'll just follow this ute. Hopefully he's got it right, eh? Yeah. <laughs> She's wide, the river, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, she is. My word. She's up fairly high. Yeah. They've got a tape here. Yeah. yeah. The Nilicon's fairly big. That's where we are, guys, at the moment. We're just passing through the Nilicon. We're not staying here. The shopping centre is up to the right here. Better give way to Dodger, babe. He's nah. going left. Is he? Oh, yes. Dodger's going left. Everyone would know Deniliquin, or well, most people should know Deniliquin as the Denny Ute Muster in the boat. Yeah, yeah. They also have a, um, a rodeo on here, I think uh, around Easter time. Yes, they do. There's more emus, babe, cross the road. <laughs> it's not impressed about emus these days, is it? Because you can't win an emu bet. It's all your la la on about the it. That you, you change, you, you, <laughs> you're the one that changes the rules. Okay, so we've just pulled up here. There's a dump point right there. Fat boy Lowe's going in it. Sick of it, bud. <laughs> Go on, I'm going to put it in the dump point. <laughs> going for a dump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, um, yeah, just stopping for a um, get off the bike for five minutes and um, we're going to go to the toilet. There's little toilets there. It's just on the out out of town. So we're just out of Finlay, aren't we, my dear? Yep. And um, got a bit of road work here. We've got a red light at the moment. We're still on the way to Yarrawonga, which is about 72 k's away to our destination for the night. After that, who knows? Pilot vehicle just turned around up there by looks of. Have you got cars coming? Nope, yeah. clear. Yeah, okay. Maybe I was wrong. I tell you what, it's been some great roads out through here. Uh, long, long straights, a lot of them, aren't they, Bo? Yeah. Um, and just sit back and relax. Nice, nice country area to go through. Very nice indeed. We are about um, 20 k's out of Tokemole at the moment. I'll leave you with that. No other shit to say? Nope. We're probably about to go soon. I think I've seen a car come out of that side street and go that way. So. Oh, well, yes, yeah, so in other words, we've got another half hour yet. I'm the last of it, the slow and without wit. Among the living, I am dead. I lie awake at night. Daydreaming about life In the corner of my eye For all the love I feel I wonder if it's real Or a fabrication in my head Despite its many flaws It could be one of those Who saved my lifetime and again so We've pulled up at Yarrawonga tonight and this is our motel for the night in the bay, mate. Yep. Right here, see? Motel Yarrawonga. And position, then, position. I mean, position. I did do it, but even if I did do it myself, I could not have done any better than that. Yep. Look here. See that, guys? See that, guys? And our neighbours. That? 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 Right there. 
Yes. Yeah. And look at our neighbours. And, and we got we got Macca's neighbours here, an Ampole serve station, KFC on that corner. Like heaven here in Yarrawonga and the babe. If you just all you gotta do is get rid of me. It's a bit risky that one, a bit risky. Still offering mushroom pies, but you won't come at it. Nah. Yeah, so, We'll start the long walk across the road to BWS. <laughs> and look, we'll probably get thirsty, so we'll probably have to crack one on the way back. Because... It's a fair walk. We've got to go all the way back. See the bikes here? We've got to go all the way back down there yet, don't we, yeah, both? Yeah, it's a fair yeah. walk. OK. Like I said, <laughs> it's magic over there. It's absolute magic. I think we'll probably sit back here and we probably won't go anywhere. Will we, both? <laughs> what do you reckon? You've got to roll I mean, mate. come on. Look. Mac is there. KFC there, BWS. What more do you want? That's it. She's all in the one on the one corner. Let's go. Fuck. I've got to carry this. <laughs> Just don't drop it, babe. <laughs> Kimmy's struggling there, isn't she? What a long way to go to carry these back home. Oh, come on, babe. Stop whinging. Stop whinging. You want to drink them like a man, you carry them like a man. <laughs> okay? If you want to, you want to match the big boys. Oh, I can match you. No, you worry. Yes, Our bike is still here. That's good. He's going to get a trailer. I know. <laughs> Some old bloke parked next to us said he's going to get a trailer room in it. Then laughed. Yeah, he's a Collingwood supporter. Maybe he just thinks Harleys live on the back of trailers. No, that's what he thinks. <laughs> Either that or he's going to flog them. One he's of flogging them because he said he wanted one. OK. I told him he can have yours. We're in number eight. Can you open the door, please, Kimmy? Yeah. Come on, Kimmy, these are getting heavy. No. What's that? So what's the plan? Find the key. What's the plan? We don't have plans. Well, no, right now. We're going to put these in the fridge. Yes. We're going to sit down and have a stubby or two. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. That plan works for me. And we're going to get the phones out and find out where we're eating tea. And where are we going tomorrow? Is that what we're doing? That's it. Right, so don't go breaking the plan. The plan? Not like the emu contracts. <sighs> Those Do contracts not... are old. No, no. Someone keeps changing the emu contracts. Contracts so old. And old Rusty's not happy with that. I'm going to have to get someone to renew these contracts, I think. If I can know. Welcome aboard the Freight Train Express. What do you reckon, mate? At Yarrawonga. At Yarrawonga tonight, yes. We're in Victoria still. We did cross to New South Wales today, but we come back to Victoria, didn't we? Yep. And we had a great ride down today, didn't we, sweetie? Yeah. Those roads down from Swan Hill down through here to Yarrawonga was absolutely fantastic. New South Wales and Victoria, that is. A lot of straight stretches of road, wasn't there? Yeah. Um, but um, able to sit on the speed limit all the way. And just a great area to go in. A couple of places was like the Hay Plains coming through. Yeah, it was. Reminders of the Hay Plains. Lots of wildlife today. Lots of wildlife. A couple of snakes on the road, yes, wasn't there? Yes, there was. Goats. There was goats and little baby, little oh. baby, tiny little goats, they wasn't were so there, mate? Cute. They were yes. so cute. They were so cute, yeah. Yes. Uh, some wild goats, plus also farm farming goats, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. The, the little ones were wild goats. And then there was an emu, wasn't there? Not a real emu. There was, it's, look... <laughs> The emu, the emu game has got a bit controversial this trip, hasn't it, babe? Because oh, give me here, she keeps changing. What do you do? You keep changing the emu. Now I'm going to get contract. A, I'm going to get a lawyer to look at this contract. Because I seen an emu today. Now it was metal sculptures of an emu. It was. But it looked like an emu. <laughs> no. There was a heap of them in this yard. There was a heap of metal sculptures. Same colour as an emu. Exactly the same. You would not think it was a fucking camel or a kangaroo. It was an emu. <laughs> and I said to Kim, emu. It was not a real emu. Well, now, now that's where it gets real controversial, you know, guys, because there was never, ever anything to say it had to be real emu. And the same as an emu in the zoo and emu in the wild. So she reneges on everything she does. No. And she wonders why I ain't fucking married to her. I mean, come on, babe. No, you... You've got to live by contracts. You know, you know what we're going to do? We're going to call that? this chasing emus. Chase, chasing the sun and emus, maybe. Chasing the emus in the sun. <laughs> I don't know. I tell you, Rass, gonna be... Rass, you're going to get his own way in the end. Don't worry. No. Don't worry. The bikes are all, all kitted up here. Got a nice parking spot for the bikes tonight, right outside our door. And we're in... 
What's the name of this motel, sorry? Motel Yarrawonga. Motel It's just down from the main street. So, and the main street's only, what, a few hundred metres away, five yep. minute walk. Five minute walk. Which we're about to go up to soon, aren't we, eh? Yep. Have you got anything more to say, babe? Have um, you got anything more to come clean with? Yeah, I'm just going to say what? this, that we are getting a lawyer to look at that contract. Well, look, when you've got to get lawyered up, there's something problem. There, there's a problem somewhere in there, eh? And look, we will apologise, actually, because we never really put an update on Facebook yesterday. Or the day before. We spent two nights at Swan Hill, didn't we? Fucking Dave. We, fucking Dave. Fucking Dave. Dave was our next door neighbour at Swan Hill. We drank two cartons while we were there. Two nights, two cartons. We said we're it? not going to drink tonight. Yeah, we're not drinking tonight. Well, no, no, we'll rephrase that. We didn't say we weren't going to drink tonight. We weren't going to drink as much. Second carton went down in the boat. Yeah, but we had a ball of time. And you know what? We forgot to put posts on Facebook and that, didn't we? Yeah, eh? We were just too busy drinking. We were just too busy drinking and laughing, yeah. and we had a ball of a time, oh, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, eh? it was fun. Right, we're in number eight tonight. There we go. And this is our room. Yeah, no, nah, look. Yeah, the bride of Chucky has been put in the corner. Hey, look, I don't know if you guys know, but the bride of Chucky could be in for something special on Friday, couldn't she, babe? Possibly. Possibly. We we've, haven't had an update. We haven't had an update yet. yet, but with Geelong Harley Davidson. So you guys will have to keep an eye open. Just, it, it's a possibility. Right, the heads are there and everything's there. Nice Bye. bed. Makes a lot of fucking sense that, eh? She took the key so I couldn't get in. And where's Rusty? He's inside for crying out loud. And, needless to say, oh, Rusty's inside with all my bloody grog. Oh. And where's Kimmy? She's outside yeah. <laughs> thinking she's locking Rusty in and Rusty's got nothing. How silly is that? Yep. Yeah, no. It's, it's pretty silly, isn't it? Dope. Yeah, oh, right, we've got a mess here, as always. We've even got a microwave tonight. Um, the shit, oh, right there. Uh, looks like King's flush this time, that's a good thing. And then the shower. Um, only 123 bucks a night, quite good, actually. And especially where we are situated. I can't keep you much longer. What are you doing, Jimmy? There's a rooms up there. Okay, we've got to go, babe. Oh, we are heading off tomorrow, aren't we? We've only got two, counting tonight, three, excuse me, three sleeps left before we hop on the boat. And yes, I know, some of you people are going to be very pleased that we're hop on the boat and you won't see anything else from us, will you? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, once we get home and I rush you start making these films, they're going to be seeing something for another six months, yes. aren't they, by, by the time I do the episodes? You know what? There's a lot of people been bearers of bad news today, within the last couple of days. What's that? Oh, you'll be home soon. We're going on holidays and you're going to be home, going it's, to work. It's funny how they start contacting you. Yes. Not long before you get home, yes. isn't it? And they say, sorry. Haven't heard anything from these people for a month. No. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. We'll put up with that, won't we, babe? Yeah. Hey, hey, guys, we've got to go. See ya. Now my wheel's in motion and my window's open.